Hi, my name is Jamie. I don't live in Saudi Arabia. I live in Egypt now, and I have a makeup collection that just keeps getting larger. It didn't today. It may soon. I don't know. We're doing a test run on ordering things to Egypt. Like, I've placed an order. It's coming. We'll see what happens. Um, evidently, my order is in Cairo, but then it said it was getting on another flight. So I have almost no idea what that means. Anyway, today what we're gonna be doing is something a little bit different. I need to put on some makeup and feel like a human being, first of all. Second of all, I need to get back into the habit of filming because I haven't filmed in more than a month at this point. It is today, August 1st, and yeah, I've been, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't call it taking a break because yeah, you know, I've been moving. <laughs> and I'm really, really sorry for missing Monday's upload. I just had some life stuff that I needed to, whatever. And I've actually tried to film in this apartment in Egypt, but it just, the lighting hasn't turned out. I've been like trying to figure out how to set up temporarily. I do have an extra room in my new apartment that is intended to me to be a beauty room but it is so hot right now and there's no AC in that room. So if I'm blasting the fan and you can't hear me, then there's little to no point, you know what I mean? And also there's like a twin bed still in there. I've got to move. So like I've got to do some rearranging of the furniture and kind of figure out my guest room situation and my beauty room situation, beauty room office situation. I don't have a desk yet. Like I want a desk, I need to go buy a desk, but out of the map, you know what I mean? So in essence, I am going to be uh, at my kitchen table for the foreseeable future, and I hope that's okay with you. Today what we're gonna be doing is I am going to be doing a makeup look based on a movie that has taken the internet by storm, and I think you know exactly which, which movie I'm talking about. I'm going to attempt to do a Barbie makeup look today because I am so the opposite of a Barbie girl. <laughs> Uh, I had one Barbie that I was really, really excited about when I was little, and it was the Rapunzel Barbie, and I kept her really nice. Oh, no, and I have Dr. Barbie. Dr. Barbie was exciting, and I have Rapunzel Barbie. But otherwise, like, I kind of just inherited all of my sister's Barbies, and to be perfectly honest, I wasn't that excited by playing with dolls, really. I had American Girl dolls, sorry. I had an American Girl doll. But yeah, like, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm very interested. Don't spoil it for me. And I'm going to attempt to do a Barbie-inspired look. To be fair, I have attempted to do this look recently, and I did not like how it turned out, and I messed up and I wiped it all off, and I didn't like how the lighting was in my room, so, you know, I just scrapped it, so. I have all the materials out right now. I think I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bay Berries palette for obvious reasons. And I don't know, I, I would like to think that I'm gonna do something like kind of similar to what I had done previously, but I don't know, we'll just see how it's gonna go today. For the eyeshadow portion of the video, I am gonna be doing a voiceover and then I'll kind of check back in and do skin with you later and do that but just know I'm gonna be priming with some eye prep eye prime. As usual, I need to find my mirror and then we'll get started. Okay? Okay. All right, business as usual, we're gonna go into the darkest shade, which is Journal, which is a really nice shade overall to use. I was kind of bummed that like my lower wing ended up being kind of a different color than the darkest shade that I cut my crease with. You'll kind of see that later. So, it didn't exactly turn out how I wanted, but I really do like this shade, it's very pretty. Next, I'm heading into this extremely loud Barbie shade, and oh my god, my eyes suck, I can't even see. Is that Ulo? I think it's Ulo. It's very, very, very bright, almost neon pink, if you ask me. And I'm just kind of blending out the first shade journal with it. Next, I go into, oh my gosh, shake, shake, like, a, a strawberry milkshake and yeah I'm just blending 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 I really like the Sigma brush for blending so it turned out good 
Then I'm gonna kind of cut out my crease. I just used a little bit of a wet, I don't know, cotton thing and not wet, but with my cellar water. I didn't get too precise with it because it wasn't necessary. Then I went into my Mitchell color case and I mixed the pink and white together. You could definitely use anything else with this. Also, Mitchell came out recently with a very pastel pink color case as well. Not pastel, but, or not pastel pink, but just pastel. And yeah, here I am just cutting out my crease and finding a way to utilize this color case, to be honest. I never really use it. I want to, and I try to when I do dramatic looks. So that's why you see it come out more often. So while that Mitchell stuff is drying, I go ahead and outline my eyebrows with the Makeup Forever Aqua aqua brow aqua brow yeah i think that's right just for something to do while it dries down then i go back into journal that darkest shade and do you see what i mean here where the darkest shade when put on top of that mitchell product isn't exactly the same color as what i have in my crease which again is fine next i go into soda which is super cute what a super cute name for a shade, and it really is beautiful. I wasn't blown away by the look overall. You'll see me go into Cloud, and Cloud kind of helped pull it together a little bit for me and give me the luminosity I wanted, but I wasn't terribly excited with just generally the color choices I had or made, and it, it turned out fine, but definitely the more interesting part of this is the liner. I use a Beauty Bay like water-activated liner. And my biggest problem here was trying to get everything to match, which it definitely didn't. And you can see, this is the eye I really struggle with. It is always more difficult for me because I'm left-handed. And on the other eye, I can kind of anchor my hand on my face. So this is, this is why it went much faster on the other side. But it turned out okay. I mean, this is my first look back. And this is the first look that I didn't absolutely hate trying to do so yeah it, it was fine I wasn't excited by it but it was fine okay so I've kind of done my eye look I mean like it's way better than what I attempted to do last time but of course this eye doesn't match this eye this eye is better <sighs> you know I'm kind of out of practice of like doing dramatic looks or doing my makeup in general <laughs> right now so I kind of feel like it's a learning curve, like if you don't use it, you lose it sort of thing. So I'm not necessarily surprised. And watch me mess it up right here too. Okay. Because that's what happened last time. I went too big and I haven't been in the habit of like doing my makeup that much. So it just kind of went sideways and I so didn't like it. Like there were fine elements, but also just... Ugh, I did not like it. And that's the thing, is that if you don't like your makeup at the end, what was the point? So, hold, I'm gonna go wet my sponge and I'll be right back. So, I'm gonna be using the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS just to really give me some coverage on areas that I have texture because we want bobby skin. That's what we want. We want fake plastic skin. You know what I mean? But also, I don't want to like layer product too much because it's got to be like fairly smooth. So I'm just kind of putting coverage in areas that have texture with a product that I really know is going to disguise or conceal texture, which is what concealer is for. <laughs> Movie. Mainly, what have, so I don't know, what have you guys thought of the movie? I mean, I've seen the discourse a little bit on TikTok discussing the movie, a little bit, and it's easily something I'm going to like. I just honestly hate going to the movies. <laughs> like, if I, have, if I have a choice of, like, only ever seeing movies again in my house... I would do that. I don't like going to the movies. Like in Saudi Arabia, 2019, literally going to the movies was the only thing you could do. 
and I, I can't remember exactly what year they opened movie theaters again to the public, but yeah, literally, I saw so many movies in 2019 because there was absolutely nothing other than that to do. Seriously. Not sure these are the lashes either, but we're just, we're just cooking, you know? Okay, next, I want to, like, introduce kind of a light reflecting product into my face, just again, to sort of emulate that very plastic look, in a way. And I'm going to be using the Be Perfect Ekansu, what is it, Radiant Glow Luxurious Multi-Use Skin Perfector. And you've seen me use this before, it's a fine product, and I don't know, I'm just going to be using my sponge to dab it on the rest of my face, and... Again, I'm gonna just use it to create that like very plastic effect. I kind of want it all over my face just to really like reflect light. I feel like I'm gonna go into my lower lash line a little bit and I might speed this up. Just know that I'm gonna be using a lot of journal and I'm gonna be smoking that out on my lower lash line. Oh, I might have messed up there. Okay, I'm gonna sort of pause there for now before I make too many decisions about how to go forward. Well, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm gonna go back into Lilo. Lilo is this shade and I'm gonna smoke it out a bit more. I hate an empty lower lash line on me. If you prefer it, that's that's absolutely fine, but on me, I hate it. I gotta take the Sigma brush and figure this out. This is this is okay. This is getting better. That's fine. This is fine. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's looking a bit better to me. Ooh. I did have a little bit of a mess up here, but let's see if I can take care of it. Okay, this is getting much better. <clears throat> okay, now, now, I think blush is extremely important in this situation, you know? Mm, what I'm gonna do first, actually, is I'm gonna like work on my nose a bit, give myself a fairly like, obvious highlight, I guess, on my nose. That's like the NYX Jumbo pencil, in case you're wondering. And I'm not gonna do any like bronzer contour because I just don't think, I don't know, for a dramatic look, I like a bit more of the, I don't know, one or the other type situation. I'm gonna start in bubble gum and then I'm gonna work my way towards shake this shade. I'm just gonna, yeah, that's what I was thinking last time. My skin didn't turn out so bad the last time I tried to do a Barbie look. And like, do I want, do I want my eye look to blend into my blush? Yes, I do. <laughs> For me, yes, I do. And yeah, I'm almost putting blush on in the same way that I would contour. I don't know, there's something cute about that. It's a little bit retro, it's a little bit 60s, and I'm, I'm, I, I don't think I'm gonna be like making a habit of it necessarily, but I think it's very cute for a dramatic look. Yeah, see like I'm almost doing exactly with my blush what I would do with contour or bronzer. Just because I'm, yeah, you know, it's Barbie, I have to. And again, I'll mention I am not a Barbie girl. I'm not in a Barbie world. But who am I to deny inspiration when it's sitting right there? You know, like, who am I? Who am I to do such a thing? And of course, that song is stuck in my head endlessly. 
I'm like an endless loop at this point. Now I'm going to bring it a little forward just so it's not so, you know, patchy looking. It doesn't look patchy to me, but like it might to you. I'm going to use shake and I'm going to follow up and kind of soften the edges of where I put on blush. I'm going to bring it kind of under my eye. Cute. Cute. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some She Glam powder and I'm going to put a little bit like around my nose. Just a smidgen. I'm using the She Glam powder honestly because like I don't need this makeup to last specifically but it works well to mattify in the short term. So I'm just kind of putting it where I have, again, a bit of texture. You know, I've been wanting actually that Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom powder for this like purpose, actually. I think it would look good on me. I'm not sure, I'm not married, absolutely yet to the idea, but that's just what I think. I could try it and see. I'm going to take a little bit of, again, cloud on like a highlighter brush and I'm going to put it like all the way out here as well. Okay, lips, lips I'm a little concerned about, just myself personally. I struggle sometimes picking a lip color. So I'm gonna go back into my Mitchell color case and I'm gonna take the shade Hushed and put that on my hand. I'm gonna try to use it as a bit of a liner. And hopefully I have enough on my brush. I didn't specifically intend to do an all matte pink lip, but whatever. <laughs> Following up with Lottie London glossed, supercharged gloss oil tint. Okay. I'm going to like floof up my hair and like maybe, I don't know, do some adjusting. Oh, I need to finish my eyebrows. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some adjustments and then I'll be right back. Do my lips look a little? bizarre yes I do a little bit I am trying to like figure it out with this melt liner from the Amore Mariposa collection it's in the shade Familia just kind of darken around the outside it's giving me a little bit of a 90s vibe a little bit of a Barbie vibe and also a little bit crazy so I don't know you tell me what do you think um okay <clears throat> I also forgot to put mascara on so I might do that I don't know eh, I'm not gonna put mascara on pretend I didn't say that as my first look back filming. It's fine. <laughs> um, it's fine. Yeah, it's a little on the conservative side for me, like in terms of creativity. I definitely, definitely, definitely feel that way about it. But like I said, I bonked so hard. Trying to, <laughs> trying to do a Barbie look the other day. So I just wanted to sort of play it safe, make it look nice, have it come out, use the berries palette. I don't use this palette a lot, so I thought it was a good idea to bring it out. And yeah, just try to get into the habit of filming again because it's hard, you know? You gotta do a bunch of things and you gotta make sure your light's all good. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this little video and I hope you're having a lovely day and let me know cat is like crawling in my light bag. Uh, let me know if you've seen the Barbie movie. What did you think about it? And what kind of Barbie looks are you 
doing lately, let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon.